Hi, welcome back. I'm with Gary Porter. We're off to see one of uh, Gary's developments over in Stepney. Gary has kindly agreed to answer a few questions we have. Um, Gary, thanks for joining us. No problem. So, first question for you: How did you get into development? Okay, um, we've been in the in the construction industry probably about ten years now, but mainly I used to work in um, treasury in the bank in the city, and go back to the crash in two thousand and eight began financing development for certain um, builders uh, when we had the crash because they couldn't raise the money. So from there, I then retired from the city, opened um, our own various development companies where we acquire land and redevelop mainly in the London area, um, East London mainly. And then from there, we've opened a construction company. So we actually do the construction side as well as the acquisition and the sales. Lovely, okay. Do you remember your first deal? Yes, the first deal um, was over in uh, Richmond Road in Hackney, and we still own that. And we Lovely road from Richmond. Yeah, that's Lovely right, big on houses. The, uh, right on Martello Street by Pub in the Park. Right. So we still own that development. Uh, from there, we've done several in Hackney, um, the Beauvoir Crescent overlooking Regent's Canal. Um, from then in Islington, behind the um, historic screen in the green, we did the first development over there. To Hoxton Square, we did the first development in Hoxton Square for over 20 years, uh, which was next to a great two listed So it's fair to say you've been around a little bit. Exactly, yeah, we, we've done um, then in Curtin Road, we've developed in there. Uh, mainly we do mixed use developments, that's the nature of the current market. Right. Uh, small developments, nine flats up to the one we're currently doing in Violet Road, which is 79 flats. Uh, we try to preempt where the market's going to be. Doesn't it's not always successful, but we've been fairly successful. So, going on what you just said, preempting. How are you finding Brexit's affecting your plans? Brexit hasn't affected us uh, too great in the fact we're not selling right now when the Brexit market is really sort of giving us um, a hard time. But we should be probably finishing this development in two to three months and we're hoping that by you know, having you come over we can look at it with that in mind hopefully we'll get a decision um, in the next week or so prior to March which case we you know we feel that you know that the, the UK market is still buoyant London especially is, is buoyant and so where you feel you're not going to get your resale prices are you looking at rental as a backup option that or? is always an option but uh, we either either sell a development or we rent it. We don't mix and match. So we'll look at this development we're coming to now. That will be predominantly up for sale if we can get the right prices. If not, then we'll look to rent them out. But with rental, it's fine. But in the end, two years you're you know re redecorating them. Where we've we've found that it's easier to you know reinvest our money into future developments and land yeah so that's where we specialize how has east london changed lastly in the time that you've considering i was born and bred in east london yeah. um over you know 50 60 years um quite dramatically but saying that it's uh i can remember when i was younger we you know everyone's ambition was to move out of london now my my children and that yet next generation is still moving back into London, yeah. so that's where the work is and that's where the force is. Obviously, the east end of London, namely Hoxton, Shoreditch, has also regenerated over the years to be one of the hubs, you know, for social life. So it's it's a very sought after area. So where do you see it going? You see it continuing to? Yeah, well, I can't see it going any good. other way in East London, but that because it's everything is moving east, even further east out to where we are now, Stepney, Bow, regenerating out past, um, even out to Redbridge, um, out to Dagenham Way. So I think that's where maybe the um, opportunities will be yeah. going forward. But let's hope that, you know, you sell these ones for us. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. We're at site. Uh, Gary, thanks a lot for joining us. Welcome. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.